Yet, if he clinches the crown before the split, rumors suggest there might be a loophole. And Kate, oh, she's not idling by, setting her terms too. And who's brokering all these deals? None other than Barack Obama. Rumor has it, he dropped by the British premiere yesterday, and whispers are Camilla's leaking to the press. Doesn't sound all that far-fetched considering today's climate. I reckon William and Kate haven't shared a roof in ages. You wouldn't recognize her in photos. Ears, face, figure, all seem different. Not to mention, her sidekick is Harry, while William's been bald for ages. Talk about a mess, and it's tarnishing the Kensington Palace's reputation. Instead of simply clearing the air with an honest video, where Kate could say, hey folks, all's well, stop the speculation, and reclaim her throne, she's not doing it. Why? Seems to me she's negotiating a divorce. This divorce saga. Not only does it silence Kate herself, but her whole clan too. Always found it odd why the Middletons stayed mum. They've got nothing to lose. Yet, last year the Middletons went bust after having to sell off their holiday paraphernalia firm. That very firm that once raked in millions went belly up post-Brexit bang. They say William could've helped them out financially, but he didn't step up. And now, the cracks in Kate Middleton's marriage to the hair are so wide, they seem poised for a split. We're anticipating a statement from BBC, supposed to drop nearly Wednesday, but silence reigns. But we're sure all those leaked photos, not Kate Middleton. The institutional crisis deepens. If they thought it would mask all the rumors, they were wrong. In the photos, we can't recognize her not only thanks to AI, which identifies faces, but also because Kate looks entirely different, slim, in sportswear, devoid of any style or makeup. But if she just appear on camera for a couple of seconds, doubts would dissipate. Why isn't she doing it? Why is Kensington sticking to silence, which is so detrimental to their image? It's a puzzle, but parallel to Kate's divorce, rumors of King Carlos of England's death exist, seemingly laying the groundwork for the future. They say kings don't abdicate, they die, and only then does the throne pass to the heir. But if illness completely cuts him off from public life, it leads to an international crisis, incredibly damaging for the entire kingdom. Guys, it's just mind-blowing. Nobody, absolutely nobody, knows the truth about what's happening with William and Kate. All these photo leaks, utter nonsense. A bizarre move to quash rumors, only to fuel the gossip fire. What a load of crap, right? I'm checking out the latest news and honestly, it's getting on my nerves. Where are Kate, William and their kids? And here's that snap everyone's buzzing about, casting doubts on its authenticity due to swelling. Okay, maybe it's tied to some procedure, but when you see Carol Middleton behind the wheel and Kate's nowhere in sight, it raises plenty of questions. And how Kate's family drama suddenly spills out into the open. No sign of Kate's folks, not even out shopping. It's just unbelievable. It's like they've vanished off the face of the earth. And now they're saying that someday, if Carol Middleton and Michael speak up, we'll hear the truth about all this. As for Camilla, they claim she's leaking info about what's happening inside Kensington Palace. What a damn show. And I'm sticking to the theory that William and Kate are talking divorce. William needs time to deal with all this family drama. And all the while, he's putting on a front, staging fake shows with Kate. I just don't believe that's the real Kate. And I don't think Kensington Palace is ready to usher William onto the throne. They're all in some crazy mess. Stay tuned for updates and watch out for new videos, folks. See you on the next page. The scandal at Kensington Palace has taken on new dimensions. Could they not have avoided this? In just a couple of weeks, we've been surrounded by fake photos of the lovely Kate Middleton, supposedly meant to quell rumors. But alas, they only fan the flames of debate even further. Instead of simply snapping an honest photo with a caption saying, all is well, thanks for your concern, they chose to fuel this informational chaos. Unbelievable, isn't it? And this is just the tip of the iceberg. It's become a virus infecting the global community. Don't tell me I'm the only one discussing this. Almost every major media outlet has found space for these fake photos on their covers. 
Today, I'm going to tell you about the latest masterpiece of forgery. Just a slight blur of the image, and you'll see it's not Kate Middleton. The face, the height, even the style of clothing don't match the real Kate. It seems someone tried to deceive us. And what about the fact that in the photo, Kate appears taller than William? I can't fathom how that could have gone unnoticed. Royal affairs experts are seriously concerned. They're even consulting with colleagues from other countries to get to the bottom of this story. And they've all come to the same conclusion. The woman in the photo is not Kate Middleton. Some British media outlets are trying to defend the royal family. But that's clearly not what's going on here. Oh, and I almost forgot. It seems not only does Kate have a look-alike, but William does too. That's where the real intrigue begins. The Sun newspaper even claims they used actors for the disguise. What hilarious attempts. Each new chapter of this story only deepens the doubts. It would have been better to show real evidence instead of convincing us of something that doesn't really exist. In one of the recent photos, Kate and her mother are barely visible because they've blurred the image beyond recognition. She looked just awful in the photo, as if time hadn't treated her well at all. It was as if it wasn't her at all. And then, in a moment, a photo pops up of her with the kids. Nothing special, you might think, but take a closer look. The kids have seven fingers on their hands. Do you think it was difficult for them to hire someone who could stretch Photoshop to its limits? But no, they preferred to steer clear of that venture. And that, dear friends, is a clear sign of trouble. Then William and Kate appear, spinning in the car. And what do we see? Kate's profile photo, the same as that public one. Obviously, it's not a snapshot from that day. Next, a video leaks online of a woman, 25 years younger than Kate, writhing as if on hot sand. And this despite rumors that she had just gone through hell with an abdominal surgery. In short, it was all pure deception. She's carrying bags as if they were feathers, not heavy loads, and her movements are as agile as an athlete's after a marathon. And here we are, supposedly in the recovery process, and then this show. And what are they doing with their public image? It seems they're not protecting it at all. That's the way it is. But why? Let's figure it out. Especially memorable was Barack Obama's visit yesterday. In the royal house, as we know, not everything is smooth. There are rumors that King Charles is on his last breath. They say he's taken a serious hit. Diagnosis. Grim. They're treating him palliatively, yet he's even turned down chemo just to eke out a bit more time. And here comes our Prince William into the mix. Will he ascend the throne or not? But he's stuck, unable to divorce if tied to Kate.